Hello everyone and welcome to Uploading Custom Ark Survival Evolved Maps. Playing a solo world on Ark is a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but if you have a bunch of tamed animals or a bunch of buildings already built and you want to share that with your friends, you may not know exactly how to do that. Luckily, with the Nitrato servers, it's relatively simple, and today, what we're going over is how to transfer solo worlds and how to transfer Steam Workshop maps onto your Nitrato server. Let's get started. Finding Single Player Map The first step here is to open up your Steam library and right-click on Arc Survival Evolved and go to Manage Browse Local Files. In here, you'll take the path Shooter Game saved and saved arcs local inside of saved arcs local you're going to find three files if you have one world you're going to take note of all three but especially of local player arc profile uploading your single player world now open up steamid.io in whatever browser you use and find your username once you've found your steam username you want to copy your steam 64 id you're going to then replace local player with that copied number. It's a big long number, so you'll know when you see it. From here, you're going to head into your Nitrato panel, and of course, you're going to stop your server before we start any of this. Make sure it's fully stopped, and once it is, you're going to scroll down to the left-hand side, where you can see the name file browser. It'll be under the tools section. From here, you're going to take another long path, which is arc se shooter game, saved, and saved arcs. What you want to look for inside of saved arcs is at the bottom where you see the green upload file button. Select it and upload the three files from your arc saves. Now we're on the final stretch. What you want to do is head to the settings tab on the left hand side and select general. In the new page that pops up, you're going to look up in the search tab or scroll to find the map name section and under base settings is where it should be. Inside of the map name dropdown, you just wanna ensure that you selected the map version of the one that you were playing on single player. In my case, it was Lost Island. Then you're going to save the changes. And once you are done with that, you're going to head back to the dashboard. As you can see, the server is currently stopped and that's no good to play a game. So go ahead and hit that green start server button and double down on the pop-up. Once the server has officially restarted, you'll be good to play your single player world on your server. Custom Steam Workshop Maps For today's example, we'll be using the map Olympus off of the Steam Workshop. What you're going to want to do is hit the subscribe button so that you have the mod file on your computer. You're also going to want to take note of the mod ID right there. Go ahead and copy that while you're here. If you can't find the mod ID in the description, there is another way to find one. Just go ahead and click the share button underneath the photos next to favorite, and at the end of the long URL, you'll see the mod ID number. You can also copy it from here. Now you're going to head back into your Steam library and once again go to Browse Local Files under Install. Then you're going to go to the path Shooter Game, Content, and then Mods. Now, once the mod has finished installing on your end, you'll find two different files, one a mod file and one a file folder, matching the mod ID. Once again, stop your server, and while this is running, you're going to want to scroll down to where you see the FTP credentials section, and you're definitely going to want to take note of this. On this topic, if you're unfamiliar with external programs such as FileZilla, you can always check out our How to Use FTP on Your Nitrato Server guide, and it'll be linked in the description below. I use FileZilla, and all I did was log in with those credentials appropriate to each name at the top. Once you're here, you're going to want to have both folders open, FileZilla and your mods folder, and take the path on FileZilla, ArcSE, Shooter Game, Content, and Mods. This can all be done while the server is shutting off fully. Just make sure you don't change anything until the server is all the way off. Now that the server is all the way off and we see the mods folder, we have everything that we need. On the client side folder, you're going to click and drag the mod ID files into the mods folder on the right using your external program. From here, once it is fully uploaded, which may take a while with maps of this size, you're going to head over to the left of your panel and click the general settings. Once again, we'll be searching up map name or scroll down to base settings and find it. 
And now, underneath Own, you should see Olympus, or whatever file you're using from the Steam Workshop. You know the drill by now, save those changes, and once the saves have officially been put in, you're going to go back to the dashboard and of course start your server back up because you can't play on a dead server, and once it is started, you'll be able to play on the Steam Workshop map. Conclusion And that's how you transfer worlds onto a server. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. If you happen to like this tutorial, then please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and if you're feeling extra special, ring that notification bell. That way we know this is the type of stuff that you like to see. Until next time.